What's your story that sounds like a lie but is 100% true? Back in Russia when I was 14 friends and I stumbled on an abandoned mansion in the woods outside of Moscow. We hung out there daily for a week because nobody was there ate their food. Used the tub. Watched TV. Etc. We rummaged through the house and found a bunch of guns in a basement but didn't really think much of it. Went back to the city with my mom to buy groceries and such. Then came back to continue our partying. On the way there, me and my friend were followed by a black Mercedes. Two men got out and screaming those are the bitches started chasing us. We ran into the woods and hid under a huge log. The men ran right past us. One said that they have to find us. Another said that we are just Molokososi milk suckers. AKA very young and shouldn't be much trouble. We stayed under that log for another hour. To make sure they left. And ran home. After that we avoided that area. Turns out the whole place was rigged with cameras and we had no idea. Since it was mid 90s Russia. The people were mafia that sold weapons and saw us raiding the place on camera. In a welding shop. Atop a 12 feet ladder, running 3 inch chain welds along the roof seam of an aluminium trailer. I leaned out too far to get that one last weld and the ladder tipped. I literally walked down the side of the ladder as it fell, to the ground, without even coming near losing my balance. I did with a cobramatic MIG gun in my hand, and my hood down, so both encumbered and completely blind. The very best part, it was witnessed by my partner, who went around telling everyone that I had pulled off some waifu looking shit. A once in a lifetime move that would 100% end in disaster if I ever tried to replicate it. Once when I was 5 years old my cousin asked me if I could do a flip. I lied. And she said the one. So I did. I even landed on my feet. I've never done another flip after that. I've given myself a black eye twice. Ironically enough it was doing the exact same thing, but years apart. I was at home and dropped something on the floor but didn't realize how close to a door it was. I naturally bend down to try to get it and whack. I hit my face on the doorknob. Second time was the exact same thing. It always sounded like a lie explaining to friend and family why I had a shiner. Them thinking I was too embarrassed to say I got into a fight or something. One night while sailing in the middle of the Pacific, I stood up in the companionway to look at the stars. A flying fish jumped out of the sea and hit me in the nuts, then landed inside the boat flapping around. I grew up with Ryan Dunn from Jackass. He and I lived in the same neighborhood and were in third grade together. For his birthday we went to Chuck E. Cheese and saw the movie Short Circuit. We all slept over his house and while no one got their face peed on, I remember running around in a gorilla costume. Dude was always fun. His bedroom window was above the front door and there was a little roof over the porch. He'd climb out there and down a pine tree next to the roof. We all did stuff like that as kids. Not just him. My friends and I laugh because he became famous doing all the same shit we did growing up. Funny enough when Jackass became popular I was watching it once and my mom walked in the room. I said hey mom, remember Ryan Dunn? And she gasped and said oh my god he looks exactly the same. Although I hadn't seen him since the third grade, it still hurt when he passed away. We were good friends back then, and childhood friends are some of the best. Got the SWAT team called on me and my brother when we were nine they had two helicopters surrounding us and a team with guns loaded pointing at the two of us. What was it for? Some crazy lady complained there were armed men going on a shooting rampage. Little did she know we were nine shooting glow in the dark nerf guns. As a teenager I rode my bike down a mountain road and when I tried to brake at an intersection the brake cable broke and then I was hit by a car. Luckily for me the handlebars had rammed into the turn signal housing of the car in such a way that the car dragged me to a standstill without touching me. I somehow ended up in the employ of a crime family but in a completely legitimate business. The company paid for a marketing campaign but got bumped for the money and so these guys as the owners decided to hunt the guy who did it down. They got his business address and staked out his office. Then they followed him home and waited there for a bit. When he next left they kidnapped him. Took him to a warehouse and beat the shit out of him to get him to return the money but he swore blind he didn't have a clue what they were talking about. Turns out the guy they were after lived with his identical twin brother. An old guy have me a gun, I'm from the UK. When I was a kid there was a WW2 vet who lived across the road. 
He'd fought in North Africa and I'd always been really interested in stuff like that and ended up doing odd jobs for him like cutting the lawn. I was about 15. One day he reached into his bedside table and pulled out a real gun showed me it and told me to take it into the park and fire a few shots off. I did this with my mates and two weeks later they did a thing at school about how dangerous guns are. I've no idea if this was related but we shit ourselves as you just don't have guns in the UK at all. My sister once stabbed my brother's arm with a pencil. In return my brother stabbed me in the arm with a pair of scissors because my sister ran away and I was in his vicinity. Ended up getting two stitches. When I was 17 I was walking back from a New Year's Eve party in Melbourne with my brother and cousin. A possum was walking along the pavement towards us and my cousin says oh look, a ring-tailed possum. They're usually scared of humans. As he says this, the little bastard climbs up my leg and onto my back, digging in his claws. I screamed and started spinning in circles trying to get it off me while my bro and cousin just pissed themselves laughing. I told my parents about it the next day and they didn't believe a word of it. When I was about four or five, I always used to get a lot of colds, like pretty much every week and my nose was running all the time, like considerably more than would be normal for a kid my age. My mom took me to the doctor to see if there was any reason why and he managed to find a stone wedged up my nose. He reckoned it had been up there a couple of years as the nose tissue had grown around it. Apparently the best thing to do was put a drill up my nose and break the stone into pieces so it would come out. Yes you read that right. Put a drill up a small child's nose. So anyway, that's what happened. And to be fair, it worked. It was obviously quite a scary experience given my age however and I still feel affected as an adult. Even to this day I'm still terrified of people putting drills up my nose. I stole a couple oranges from Arnold Schwarzenegger. In all fairness, they weren't really his oranges. I was 10 and on a tour of the state house in California while Arnold was governor. The tour guide pointed out the oranges trees outside of his office and called them the governor's oranges. So, naturally, I took a couple. Didn't tell anyone until we got home. My uncle and I ate the governor's oranges. Michael Clark Duncan bumped into me, knocking me on the floor. He reached down and took my hand and helped me up. Asked if I was okay. I said yeah and we went on our separate ways. I used to work as a professional food taster for Unilever, and I invented the chocolate plug on the bottom of the Cornetto cones. Many years ago I was jumped by three guys after coming out of a bar. Somehow I was the only one standing at the end of the fight. It was entirely a fluke and I don't even really remember how it happened because it was over in a flash. I think one of them may have accidentally punched the other and I must have just got exceptionally lucky with my desperate swings. I suspect one of them may have even slipped on some ice and hit his head on the way down. An acquaintance saw it happen from down the street and she told the rest of my friends that I was some kind of MMA ninja. But it was truly just luck. For years I had this reputation as some kind of badass fighter. Based solely on a six second interaction with three drunken idiots on a slippery sidewalk. I was 16 years old when my boyfriend older volunteered me to work with the police vice unit. I would go into bars and order alcohol. If I was served a drink the bartenders would get fined. Here's the kicker. The vice officer paid me with cash and beer. A friend converted his cuckoo clock to digital audio so that when the bird came out on the hour it went. FCKU. FCKU. Instead of the normal cuckoo sound made by the clock's bellows. Johnny Depp bought me a snow cone in California about eight years ago. I asked Neil Armstrong if the he actually walked on the moon. My parents bought his folks house and 16-year-old me had the audacity to ask him directly. My parents and I went to a safari park as a kid in the early 80s. Very not up to code place. All the safe animals roamed free. We were idiots and went through in our own car. Well we also fed the animals. So we almost got peed on by a huge giraffe. A buffalo stuck its head in my dad's window. A pregnant zebra stole my mom's apple and owl that was before we reached monkey land. That was the highlight. Monkeys are rude furry buggers when food is involved. Monkeys. Monkeys everywhere. Yet we fed them. Still it was relatively okay. That was when the bear showed up. This guy must have seen some shit. He was older than dirt and looked like a fur rug with nails. 
senile as heck most likely. So he'd been around most of the trip and wanted in on the food. So after some debate we decided he was docile enough and held out a cookie. Poor old Pokey the bear dragged himself over to the car. Then this little hand comes down and snatched the cookie from his paw. Bastard monkeys. That bear just snapped. I can only imagine those monkeys had been stealing his shit for ages. He rested up trying to kill this monkey and we hit the gas. Bear ran off. But this scared the monkey who fell onto the hood of our car. He then got scared by the windshield wipers and knocked off our mirror. He then proceeded to notice his own reflection and run off with it. Funniest story to look back on. When I was in my 20s before we had families and bills, a couple of friends and I pulled together $250 each for a $1,000 raffle ticket. The prize, a round of golf with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well we won, so a couple of weeks later there we were golfing with Arnold. When he first arrived he greeted us, shook our hands, and had a very disinterested demeanor. We didn't think much of it. None of us had met an A-list celebrity before and we didn't want to come off like excited groupies. We get to the sixth hole and Arnold is smoking a huge cigar and still hasn't said a word to us. Barely even looked at us. We're still trying to play it cool around him. Well except my friend Doug. So Doug goes over to him and says something to the tune of, Arnold, we kinda spent a lot of money for this and we were hoping you'd kinda hang out more. So Arnold slowly looks up at Doug with a scowl, takes the cigar out of his mouth and says, Hey Dougie. Doug is thrown off a little, takes a second and replies, Um yeah. To which Arnold then asks. We all start laughing and then Arnold says, Come on guys I've been f with you. After that we all had a blast and Arnold was cool as shit the rest of the round. My buddy and I were about 10 years old. Around the neighborhood was a long stretch of sidewalk and sometimes semi-trucks would park what they hauled there and leave it there driving off in the cab. It was one of those grain or sand boxes that opened from the bottom to release the load and the top was not covered. As kids we didn't know what was in there and decided to climb up to see what was inside. As we started climbing up, a police vehicle slams his brakes next to the boxes. Yells at us with a serious look on his face. Are you having fun? We both went er. He repeats himself. Are you having fun? We both reply. Er uh, yeah. He yells. Good. And he proceeds to do a vehicular donut and takes off. Ty is screaming. We both looked at each other like WTF.